Hospitals in North Alabama are packed with patients with respiratory illnesses. Right now, the Alabama Hospital Association says hospitals are caring for an average of 300 patients a day. This problem's not going away, and some hospitals, according to reports, have turned patients away due to staffing issues. And News 19's Archie Snowden is taking a closer look at this and joins us live from Huntsville Hospital. Now, as you know, Greg and Emily, this issue has been widely reported during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hospitals overwhelmed with patients and not enough staff to care for those patients. Well, the staffing issue still has not been resolved. And across the state, hospitals are once again overwhelmed. The Alabama Hospital Association says that Alabama hospitals are nowhere near as overwhelmed as they were early in the pandemic, but they are by no means back to normal staffing either. I worry that this could be a very tough winter. Dr. Don Williamson of the AHA has seen this before. Hospital staffing shortages ultimately limit the number of available beds in hospitals. That results in longer wait times in the emergency room. And what's causing this latest staffing shortage? The massive flu and respiratory illness surge that started months before the seasonal outbreak begins and an uptick in COVID cases. And the fact that it's occurring earlier, I'm not sure it, this is going to be an early season that we get rid of and we move on, or if it's going to look more like our normal seasons in terms of we really stretch this out into February, in which case we could have substantial uh, impact on hospitalizations uh, due to influenza during a long flu season. Dr. Williamson describes this hospital staffing issue as a multi-layered problem with both short-term and long-term issues. The Huntsville Hospital System alone lists over 1,000 open positions available through the Alabama Department of Labor. To limit the impact of the lack of staffing, Dr. Williamson says folks should, number one, get the flu vaccine to give hospitals like Huntsville a fighting chance. What this basically means is the same sorts of things that we saw during the during last winter's COVID surge, we could see again, not just from COVID, but from the trifecta, if you will, of COVID, RSV, and, RSV and influenza. Now, Dr. Williamson added that the COVID positivity rate has risen just a bit. There are longer wait times for emergency care while hospitals across the state are competing for the most qualified workers. For now, we're live in Huntsville, Archie Snowden, News 19.